The effects of atropine sulfate when used topically and its effects on intraocular pressure has been widely studied in humans, and it's been shown that midriatics can lead to a significant increase in intraocular pressure. In people, this is very significant, um, especially in those with various forms of glaucoma. In animals, however, studies have not been quite as extensive. There are a few studies in the literature that show that there are increases in intraocular pressure with um, midriatic use. For example, there's been a study of cats, uh, 10 cats in particular, in which they were um, given atropine sulfate to topically, and they did demonstrate significant increases in their intraocular pressure. In addition, there's been a study of basset hounds with glaucoma who were given midriatic agents, including tropicamide, which was then followed up with atropine topically, and these dogs also developed significant increases in their intraocular pressure. We're very familiar with the effects of atropine on uh, the diameter of the pupil, and we know that it does cause pupillary dilation. In dogs, cats, and cattle, this uh, dilation maximally can occur within 30 to 60 minutes of a single dose of atropine application to the eye. In terms of its duration of action, in cats, typically, uh, the dilation of the pupil will wane within about 24 hours of a single dose. However, it's been shown that some cats can have persistent pupillary dilation for as long as 96 hours after a single dose of atropine to the eye. We use this drug topically in horses as well. In horses, one study showed that there was no effect of topical atropine on the intraocular pressure of treated eyes. However, another study did demonstrate a small and significant effect in lowering the intraocular pressure in, in horses that had had um, atropine applied to their eye. It's believed that in this species that it may be because of their um, more developed uveoscleral outflow, outflow pathway and the enhancing effect that atropine has in this species. Horses will also develop pupillary dilation in response to topical atropine application, and it's been shown that a single dose can have a duration of effect uh, lasting as long as 14 days. We use atropine systemically in veterinary practice almost daily. Um, we commonly use it as an adjunct to general anesthesia protocols, in particular inhalation anesthesia protocols. We use it primarily because it helps to decrease salivary and respiratory secretions. However, we also know that it has a variety of systemic effects, most notably on the cardiovascular system, but it also affects other uh, organ systems as well. Interestingly, to date, there's been little known about the systemic administration of atropine and its effect on the eye. So the objectives of this study were to compare the effects of topically applied 1% atropine sulfate to the eye and the systemic administration of atropine by intramuscular injection and to assess their effects on intraocular pressure and pupil diameter in normal dog eyes.